I'm Chris Edwards and welcome to this week's Tennis Warehouse Vlog. First up, I've got some new color ups of existing shoes from Adidas. Let's jump straight in. First up with the Barricade. This is my go-to shoe right now, one of the shoes when I'm going to go out, play a match. Um, I'll just play tennis and have fun. I'm not testing other stuff. I'm usually rocking a pair of Barricades out there. Love these new colors. And um, we've got a great selection of colors on Adidas shoes right now on the uh, Addy pages, and so you can get anything from mild to wild, and I've just given you um, some of my favorites that have just come in. New additions to this line. This barricade definitely makes a statement right there. And then let's jump into some Ubersonics. Now, one of these shoes is a little different. It's this one. Um, really bright. This one is one of the wild ones. So if you really want to make a statement out there on the court, this would be a great way to do it. And uh, this is a lighter weight shoe, more of a speed-oriented shoe compared to the barricade and then also have it in this black colorway right there. I love this kind of like changing with the light treatment to the heel cup on that one. Quick look at the outsole right there. Great speed shoe um, in the Ubersonic. Okay, let's jump in to some vintage rackets. First up, some uh, with this one we featured on the vlog before. This is um, one of Amelie Moresmo's Pro Stock versions of the Dunlop 200G, so ultra rare racket. I wanted to give this one some more love because we have one of these and that's it. So uh, if you're a Marismo fan or just a pro stock racket fan, it's a great one to add to your collection right there. Next up, I've got the Hyper Pro Staff 6-1. This was my favorite back in the day of the Pro Staff 6-1s. I preferred it, the playability with this one over the 6-1 Classic um, when I was comparing the two. And uh, just a really nice playing racket, more control string bed from uh, this racket. Whereas the 6-1 Classic I found had a bit of a hot spot. It was super hot down and then it faded towards the tip. I've just found the response from this uh, hypercarbon one a bit more uniform. And that's a great playable collectible. And then last but not least today, we've got a liquid metal head prestige mid plus uh, four and five eighths handle on this one. This is just a regular a stock racket. Uh, plastic still on the handle though. So again, really nice racket to have in your collection and it plays great. So it's a really beautiful playing racket from head. Okay, that's all I got for this week. Thank you so much for watching.